was the last time I got the base done. Now it's time to frame the walls. Now I've already made up some window frames. There'll be a video about that later so I can get these positioned because I'm going to frame the walls around them. I'm going to start with the back wall that's going to have all the windows in and it's also going to be the tallest wall. So I want this wall to be two meters tall minus two thicknesses of this that are going to be at the top and the bottom. So I can get that marked out, go to the miter saw and start getting them as cut. Now, I don't have any wood long enough to stretch the whole length of the building, so it's going to be made up of two frames. So I'm going to get the first frame put together, and then I can work out how big the second one needs to be. I'm going to get a couple of 90mm screws in each corner to lock the frame together. first frame put together I can work out now how long I need the bit of wood for the top and the bottom of the second frame and get that cut. So that's two frames put together but I'm not going to attach them together quite yet. I need some timbers that just go up from the base to the top of the window frame so I can get those cut. Now, one of these timbers goes next to the window and then a full length one goes next to it so I can get these two screwed together. So now I need a timber that's going to go in here and sit on these uprights and one for the underneath and they're going to be the same size so I can get them cut. So I did say this bit that goes in the bottom is the same length as the one in the top but I was wrong, the one on the top sits on top of the wood, this sits between it. So with that done I've got two more bits that go underneath to support it one either side and then get that all screwed together. The last piece for the window is just an extra support in the top. One frame for the window done, now I've just got to repeat the process for the other two windows. So that's one side done with the frames for three windows in it, but I've not actually joined these frames together. So now I can get some long screws in and link them together. Now I've got to frame the other long wall, which is very simple because no windows in it and it's just going to be 10 centimetres shorter than the first. So I can work out how long I need these timbers to be and get them all cut down. So I can build this second frame just on top of the first one and it's going to go together so much quicker because no windows, so basically all the timbers are the same length. So as with the previous one, this wall is made out of two frames that I can now get joined together. These are joined together, now these gaps need filling up with studs. Now, eventually I'm going to fill this with acoustic insulation which is 40 mil, no, 40 centimetres wide. So I've cut a piece of wood at 38 centimetres and that's going to be the spacing for my studs. 
then the insulation should fit in nice and snugly. So that's the two long walls framed. Now for the shorter ones, but I need some space to work. I'll start with the back wall because this is the easiest to frame because the width is just a standard three by two, 2.4 meter long. So no cutting involved. And then the height is exactly the same as the wall we just did. So I've already got the timbers cut. So just screwing this together. So this is now all going to get the same 38 centimeter spacing, which should make future Matt's life much easier. I hope he thanks me for this. Right, that's it, three down. Now, the last one is exactly the same. We just need to leave a gap for a door in there. So I've slightly oversized the door opening because the frame has still got to go in there. Just adding some extra pieces to the top of the door and I will actually add some more when I come around to doing the door. But that is all four walls framed. Right, today's the day. I finished framing the walls yesterday, but I just got it covered up because I want a full day to be able to get as much done as possible and get it weather tight by the end of the day. Now, it rained a bit overnight, and it's actually a bit of drizzle now, but it's supposed to clear up. I'm gonna start by getting the back wall put up. Now, I'm gonna do this on my own. So to make life easier, I'm just gonna screw some bits of wood on to act as stops. <laughs> Then when I lift the wall up, it can hit against these and not tip over. Well, that's the plan. Now, I have had lots of offers to help, but I've just wanted to keep busy these couple of weeks and do it all by myself. I'll explain more about that in a future video, but uh, for the time being, I'm just gonna get on. Another thing I'm gonna do in preparation is get some screws started into the base of this so I'm not messing around when I've got it lifted up. Okay, so I've got the screws in, the stops in place, I've got the drill hanging off here. I think I'm ready. This thing shouldn't be too heavy. No. So. Pushed against the stops. All right. Should have got a mallet. It's always something you forget. Okay, we're lined up against the stops. Screw in. Right, first wall up. I right, just want to make sure this is all nice and straight. Yeah, leaning back a bit. But what I'm going to do is get this bit of wood 
a batten that I've put a couple of screws in already. Wrong screwdriver bit. It'd be much easier if I'd planned this so every screw I was using was from the same manufacturer with the same bit, but I'm trying to use up all the bits I've got. Get that level. And now lock it into place. Right, the back wall can now go in. I've got the screws started again. I've got the correct screwdriver in the drill. I haven't actually put any stops to bash this up again, so I'm just gonna line it up with the previous frame. Now get these two frames clamped together and then get some screws in to lock them together and then this whole thing is going to be quite strong. I've taken that batten off the back and brought it round to the front and what I realised doing it was it's all much easier if you get the screw in the base first. <laughs> then you can come over here and you've got the level and you can make the adjustments. Spot on, get that locked into place. Right, now for the front wall. So again, I've got some screws already started in there. Get it all lined up. These two frames can now get locked together. Time for the last one. Now, I've not installed any stops down here because the end frames should act as stops. But this is the trickiest one, I think, because it's... <laughs> by far the heaviest. Too far. Still didn't get that mallet. Anyway, that's in place. Get some screws in. Should have bought a screw to tie that in. Anyway, I'll come back to it. Finish getting these frames tied together. And that's it all done. It amazes me every time you spend days doing all this. And then that's taken me about half an hour to get something that's starting to look like a workshop. It's all up, but before I do anything else, I'm just gonna go around getting some more screws in just to lock it all down. Then I can get these stops removed and the batten removed.
to get this all watertight, what I've got is some breathable membrane. I'll put a link to this that I've got. This is 25 meter roll, which should be just about perfect for doing this. Now, to make it more manageable, I saw this technique. We put it on a broom, so now it needs stapling on. What I've got is some exterior grade staples. I'm gonna get them, put the staple gun, and start getting this wrapped. first one complete, I can just get a second one on that overlaps the first and it's just repeating all the way around. So that's all the walls up and it wrapped and I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, next time I'm going to get a roof on. So thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.